Hey guys, it's me, Jordan, here at Mellow Vips in Belmont. And I want to do a little bit more of a different video today. Um, I just want to talk about uh, squonking. I know I've mentioned it in a video earlier in the past on this channel. But I wanted to kind of touch back with it. And kind of talk about a box that we have in the shop that is a very amazing squonk box. And uh, the perfect RDA setup, or the perfect RDA I believe would go well with this box. So, I'm going to talk about the Revenant TVL, the Delta. This is a super cool mod. Um, if you open it up on the bottom right here, it has an adapter inside of it to where it can take an 18650 a 20 or 21700 battery. So I could take three different batteries. So I thought that was really cool of them to do that. And then your squonk bottle is on the bottom right here. You just pull it straight out. Fill that up with your whatever juice you're going to use. And slide that thing back in. Actually, the way you fill it up, it's not the way I showed you. You put the end of your unicorn bottle in that little hole right there and push down. Push down on it and fill it up from there. So, once you do that, you got your battery in. Slap or, um, clip your battery, your battery door back in place and turn the device on. It's one, two, three, four, five to turn the device on. Go one, two, three, four, five to turn it back off. I don't have batteries in it at the moment, <laughs> but um, this button right here in the middle is your menu button, so you'll press that to go to your menu, then these are to switch through the different menu options as well as your wattage up and down buttons, and then in the big button right here in the middle is your fire button, and now a lot of people will uh, get it confused with this button right here, saying, thinking that's the fire button. This right here is actually your squonk button. This is what pushes your juice from your squonk bottle inside up through your RDA to your cotton and cools. So I'm kind of going over with how that works as well. So with a squonking with a squonking RDA, and I don't believe this one has the pin on it, but I know the pin is in the box. So what's cool about this RDA is number one, it's called the Drop Dead RDA. Um, it's a mixture of the Drop RDA and the Dead Rabbit. Um, has very cool airflow on it, very smooth, adjustable airflow on the top, and then the build deck is just phenomenal on this thing. So, it's what I call um, a floating post deck. So, the way you would uh, install your coils is you got positive, negative positive, negative. And you would put, lay your coils in like this on the top of the RDA or on the build deck and your cotton would float down to the sides inside the juice tray right here. So like I said, like I say in squonk RDAs the pin that's in the middle, that little pin right there in the middle would be hollowed out if I had the squonk pin in this one. It would be a hollowed out pin on the bottom. It would also be hollowed out. You can see this was just the regular contact. So with a squonk mod, and you know you can run, you know you can run regular RDAs on a squonk mod if you don't want to use squonk mode, or if you want to use squonk mode, the mods come with a hollowed out 510. You know how on um, a regular mod. It's a flat, it's like a flat top contact, and I'll give you an example with my Aegis Legend. Which I think, I think Geek Vape might make a squonkable Aegis Legend, that'd be pretty cool. So, here's the difference. You can see the Revenant has a little hole in the middle of its contact. That's the squonk um, contact. Um, with the Aegis Legend, it has a flat top, so this one is not squonkable. So that's really the difference. And also, if you pull the bottom off and pull your squonk bottle out, the pin, 
or the pump that goes up to your contact is right here so what it does is it goes up through this middle part and to your contact right there so that's how a squonk bottle that's how a squonk works whenever it's filled up and whenever you need juice the way it works is you'll have juice in it when you press this button right here it shoots a vacuum it's like it's kind of like a vacuum seal but it pumps juice you'll press it and it'll pump juice up through the middle and out of this little pin right here when it, when you have a squat pin in it out of this little pin right here and it saturates or soaks your cotton that's hanging down in the middle which feeds up to your coils so whenever you press the fire button your coils are um, saturated um, usually when you do a squonk or when you squonk it's usually about every two to three hits that you're gonna have to um, that you're gonna have to um, squonk it is what we call it squonk it um, if you build a higher ohm to where you're not using as using as many watts to uh, fire it you know you might be able to go a little bit longer with uh, without squonking it but if you're using a lower ohm that's going to burn you know through more juice create bigger clouds then you're going to be constantly pressing this button and squonking your RDA um, as far as battery life of this device um, if you run the uh, 21700 in it then you know you're going to have a you're going to have battery life for uh, you know, at least a day and at least a day and a half or so um, if you're running a 2700 that's say a day 18650 a couple hours um, so if you're gonna you know you're gonna go big go home um, go big or go home so if you're gonna buy this and this RDA might as well go ahead and get you a 21700 um, this device I really do enjoy um, I don't personally have one uh, I have a friend of mine that has one and whenever I hit it or whenever I'm over there hanging out with him uh, he lets me use it um, really cool setup with the hell vape um, drop dead RDA and I think this one looks really cool because the RDA matches the rainbow on the mod and I just think it's an all-around really cool setup and that rainbow really goes good with that gunmetal so if you're looking to kind of dabble into the building a little uh, building aspects of um, vaping you want to learn how to build and everything there's tons of YouTube video tutorials um, all over the internet to show you um, if you get friends that build get them to show you, uh, get them to show you a few tips and tricks I, um, I had friends show me and then I kind of just winged it and learned on my own um, there are some concepts to it um, or well there are some things to building that you need to keep aware of um, battery safety Ohm's law and um, contact safety um, you have two different types of vapes in the world well if you well if you put uh, pod devices aside you got two different types of vapes in the world you've got your regulated which has your screens on them and then you have unregulated which is basically a contact and a battery if you've ever seen the people use the um, tubes um, the tubes with the RDAs on top, that's a mechanical mod or an unregulated mod. Um, if you've ever seen somebody use a box but they don't have a screen on it and you just open it up and it's got um, two battery slots and it's RDA on top, it's an unregulated box. Um, with uh, And there's also two types of um, unregulated in the world. You get parallel and you get series. Uh, parallel is where your batteries sit parallel inside the battery tray. Uh, parallel builds are um, you're able to build somewhat a little bit lower of a build uh, with, and then you got a series box which is uh, positive up, uh, negative down, which is which you usually see with regulated boxes. You'll see how the uh, you got plus and you got negative. That's how a series uh, box is made, but instead of having the chip in it to make it regulated, it is just a contact. So you got to be really careful on how you build with those. Um, series boxes, I wouldn't recommend going anything below a .35. With a parallel, 
you can build low, but I would recommend staying around the 0.2 mark. Um, lower builds with a parallel can get very hot, and if you're using uh, too low of an amp of battery or too low volt of battery, then you take a chance on um, messing either your, your device up or messing yourself up. So just keep it that just keep that stuff in mind and make sure that um, you are safe in what you do if you do get into building. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you think. And if you're interested in one of these devices and one of these RDAs, come in and talk to us. Uh, we'll come in and talk to us. Um, we'll kind of we'll kind of give you a little bit of a quiz uh, to make sure that um, well, I guess with I guess with a regulated, it wouldn't really matter what you built. So just disregard what I just said. <laughs> But if you're really interested in coming in and looking at one of these boxes, one of these beautiful little boxes, we have this color. We have uh, kind of a grayish uh, gunmetal, and then we also have a uh, silver and gold color. In these RDAs, what I have left is um, rainbow and blue. I have like a neochrome blue like this. So if you're interested, come in and talk to us, and we'll try to hook you up and get you started. So until next time, my friends, y'all stay cloudy.